Hello, I'm Dr. Brian Fraser, and in this video I'll be showing how to create a second activity for an Android application, and then switch between the two activities in what is to be the right way. Uh, so initially I've launched Android Studios, and I have uh, done the sort of standard empty project with the Hello World screen. I've created a new button on my activity, and in my main code, my main activity.java, I have added the setup launch button inside of my onCreate method. Um, if you haven't done button activation before, uh, see the video that is linked below will take you to the guide on how to do that. Uh, inside of this method, which I've created right here, I'm just going to find the button, set up an onClick listener, and in that onClick listener, I'm going to make a toast message. So we can show that here. Here's the application running in my emulator, and at the moment when I click launch second, it just puts up my toast message. Okay, so now let's go through the process of creating that activity. So I can do that by, on the left hand side in my project window, I'm going to right click on the Java, and I'm going to say I want a new, and I'm going to go down to activity. I could select it directly from this list if I knew what I wanted. Let's go to the gallery, it's maybe what you've seen when you initially created your application. And I'm just going to go with an empty activity. Give it an ac a name, uh, let's call this one second activity. You can see here it's going to create my uh, Java file for me, as well as it's going to create the layout for me. And it's going to put it also in the manifest. So let's sort of walk through those changes. So initially, here's my uh, layout. It's created here on the left hand side. It's listed as activity underscore second dot XML. And I can put something in that. So let's just do that while we're here. So I'm going to put some message down here. Uh, and let's set the text in that to be something like second activity. And if I look at the Java code, it's just the plain stuff we've expected. And the last thing to show is under the manifest. So the manifest is an XML file that allows um, Android's, the, the Android um, uh, OS to understand a bit about the structure of your application. And so the one thing that it should have done here is added my activity. So it's added in this extra line here saying that the activity is actually being registered. Okay, so I'm going to close that by middle clicking on it. So now let's go through actually making the main activity launch my second activity. So I've already got the callback button here. So now what I want to do is I want to launch the second activity. So in order to, in order to do that, I need to create what's called an intent. So an intent is how um, the Android system knows what other activity to load. You don't simply say, like, new second activity. In fact, you'll never be creating directly your own activities. You're always working through the OS to make that happen. So I need to create an intent. I'll call it intent equals new intent. And now when I do this, I'm going to control P. I need to go alt enter to import it. And then I'm going to control P. It'll list the different parameters I can list um, pass to it. So these are all the different ways that I can kind of create an act and a new intent for launching my activity. What I'm simply going to do here is um, pass it in the sort of context of where I currently am. So I need to pass it in the current activity. So I kind of want to just say this. I'll come back in a second as to why this won't actually work. And then I need to tell it what is the Java class for that second activity. And that's going to be second activity. And I can't just say the class name. I actually have to say dot class. So that's sort of the good start. What I My problem is that I can't actually pass this because this refers to my anonymous class that I'm sitting inside here, inside of my button. What I want to pass in is I want to pass in my main activities instance. So here I have to say main activity dot this, uh, which is akin to what we had to do up here under the toast, where I had to say main activity dot this in order to give it an activity for context. So once I've actually got the intent, I then can launch that activity via the intent. And so I say start activity, and you can see here there's a few options. I'm just at the moment going to call the intent. Okay, so let's see if that worked. Let me run that in the editor, or the uh, emulator. You can see it's reloading. So 
Now when I click launch second, it puts up my toast and switches to my second activity. Now the only way out of here at the moment is for, you, for me to use the back button. If I click back, it goes back to my main, and if I click back again, it ends my activity. So it's got this nice progression backwards through my activities. This is called the call stack. So it's like a stack in uh, programming, or if you're not familiar with that, like a stack of dishes, where new ones are always added on top. When you click back, you kind of work your way back through them. And when you kind of run out of activities on your stack, you end up going back to the launcher. Okay, so that's a good start. Now, one thing that's kind of troubling is in later ways when you'll start to use intents, you can pass data to an, an activity and so forth, and it turns out that this becomes a bit cumbersome because you, inside of your one activity, need to understand a lot about what goes into the other activity. And so what we can do, actually, is we can ask the second activity to give us back an intent that we can use. So let me show you what that, that's going to look like. I'm going to comment this out with the control slash, and then I'm going to create a new intent, intent, let's call it intent, equals, I'm going to ask the second activities class, so second activity dot, and we're going to we'll create our own thing here. We're, what are we going to call it? We're going to call it something like uh, make intent. This is resembling a static factory method, if you know what those are. So let's go and write that. So I could simply hit alt enter and get IntelliJ or Android Studio to create the method for me. Let's actually go and write it from scratch just to kind of show the whole process. So in here, this is my second activity. I'm going to create the public uh, public static. It has to be a static method because I'm accessing it based on the class not an object, so anyone can call it even without having an instance of this activity. Static uh, method, and it's going to return an intent, and I'm going to call it make intent. I'm going to have to say alt enter here to fix the imports, import the class, and now we're back to compiling. Now the one thing I'm not yet doing is I need to return an intent, so return new intent. It's going to seem a bit like overkill now, but when it gets more complicated, this really this sort of framework pays off. So in order to create my intent, I actually needed to know kind of who is calling. So I need to pass something in here. So let's go over here and see what we need to do. Well, we need to get, when I create my new intent, I'm going to control P to list, I need to have a context. So what I, I'm trying to use this one down here. So I need a context. So let's pass it in as a parameter. Let's say here, context, context. Alt enter to import it. And so I'm going to pass in the context. And then I can simply pass in, well, I want to specify which class to launch. So that's second activity dot class. That's kind of where I currently am. So I've simply taken this code and I've moved it into a static function of my second activity. Effectively, I am encapsulating into the second activity the ability to create itself. And any of the nuances that are going to have to go into that, which we'll see later in a later video, can be pushed into the second activity, and it can handle it for itself. So now, in order to make this work, I have to pass in the context, and the context is just main activity does this. Okay, so we ask the second activity, please give me an intent to launch you. I then use that intent to actually start the activity. So let's see that happen. Oops. I'll run that with, uh, I use Control Shift F10. I think it's loaded here. So we're back. Looks exactly the same as before. And I can go to the second one, and I can go back. I could do this all day. It's sort of, when I go back, it stops the um, second activity. And when I come here, it resumes it. So at the moment, my first activity is running. When I go to the second one, it will pause my main activity, calling the on pause method, I believe. And then here, this second activity is created and starts running. 
When this is done, I can hit back. It will then stop the second activity and it will actually destroy it, removing it completely and coming back to my first. So every time I'm going to that launch second, I'm not getting the same one. I'm getting a brand new intent or new um, activities being launched. Okay, so there's another thing we might want to do is let's go to the second activity. What would happen if we wanted to actually say click a button here, maybe you can think of like a cancel or an OK button or something of the sort, and then cause that to go back rather than relying on the back button. So certain times you want to cancel or kill an activity on its own. So let's go and change that. So here under my second activity I'm going to put a button on it. So I'm going to drag the button out and I'll put it down here just to uh, make it visually different. Uh, let's give it an ID of um, uh, end second and I'll give it a name here so uh, end second activity and I'll put it down below just to uh, there you go so now I need to go through the same process as before of handling a button press so I'll just quickly type out the code for that so let's do call it a setup uh, end activity button I'm going to hit Alt Enter. It's going to give me the listing of what to do. I say create the method. Return type void sounds good. I'm going to get a button. I need to cast it uh, from find view by ID r dot id dot, and this is now the end second. I'm going to Alt Enter to import button. Button dot set on click listener. I can simply say here new. I can go on, click listener, hit enter, and it fills in everything for me. And now I've got my code up to, uh, to do what I want. What I'm going to want to do here is I want to finish this act activity. So I'm just going to call finish. This is a method that is defined on the activity base class. And it will terminate the current activity. And when it terminates it, it then returns me back to the previous activity whatever that happened to be. Uh, here we have uh, error running the activity must be, oh wait I can't, I have to try that again, okay. My hotkey runs the activity I'm on. So relaunch, I'll launch the second and here now when I say end it goes back to the first. Let me do that again and just to show I'm back at the start I can click back. So you'll note here, let me launch that again, that when I've gone this through the cycle a few times, when I'm on the second activity, I now have two activities on my stack. I'll click end, which I'll call finish, and it'll take me off the stack. I'll click launch, I'll get back on the stack, end to remove. At which point I've only got one activity, this first activity on the stack. When I click back, it removes it from the stack. Okay, so let's see, there's one kind of common uh, problem that we might have hit is what would happen is if instead of calling finish here, let me just put in this sort of common bug, use an intent, intent to launch uh, the main activity. So let's try that. I've got the code over here already. I'll just copy it across. And instead of main activity I want second and instead of second activity I want main activity and then once I've got my intent I can start activity Oops. start activity with the intent now if I do this as I said this is a bug let's see what happens so I'm going to rerun my program So go into the second, and from the second device I want to go back to the first, into the second, back to the first. So at this point I'm hoping that the back button is going to cancel my application. But it doesn't. I am unwinding the stack of activities that have been pushed onto the activity stack. And so eventually I'll have unwound it enough to close my application. So that's why I don't want to do that. I want to always call finish instead. Now the one last thing I want to demonstrate is what happens if I wanted to 
from main, for example, not just launch the second activity, but what happens if I also wanted to kill the first activity? So what I can do is I can say start activity and pass it the intent, and then I can also say here maybe we want to uh, kill the main activity. So I can say finish. It will first start by launching the second activity. When this pr uh, function exits, that will kind of be queued to happen in a moment, and I will then take out this activity, my first activity, off the stack, ending it. So let's see what happens when I do this. Rerun my act my program. Now I say launch second. It launches the second and takes the first off the stack. And if I go back, for example, my program exits because I have taken the first activity off the stack. And the last thing I wanted to demonstrate is some of the troubleshooting. Um, I'm going to comment out this final killing it. Um, leave it just as it was before. What would happen if, for example, you've got a problem in your manifest? So here I have what had been added for that second activity. I can comment it out using uh, HTML style comments. So I'll comment that out and I'll go back to my main activity and rerun it. So now it has no idea about that second activity. When I click launch second, the activity has stopped. Now we want to see why it did. Uh, let me, that was from a while ago. So, the perhaps easiest way to do that is you can get up the log cat, so Android monitor. And I can select which Android emulator I wish to look at. And here, it's going to be a very big dump out of what happened. So you can kind of see what was going on. And at this point, I'd say that it had to s the switch activity demo failed. That's my uh, class, and we can then see what happened. So, activity not found exception was thrown, unable to find explicit activity class, and we've listing what it is that we tried to launch. So we're trying to launch the second activity, and we can see here that this is all from the act the uh, Android code which means that I'm not likely going to find any bugs in that. Let's go to the one piece of code that I actually wrote here, the CA demo switch activity. I can link to that. And it'll show me the line of code that failed. So this start activity, passing the intent failed, and it threw the exception not knowing what it was. So again, the fix is simply don't mess up your uh, manifest. I can go back here and come and put that back in. Relaunch to prove that we're back in business. All right. Thank you very much for watching.